Yes, sir. It's your boy Tenacious, man, and I'm back with another video. Now, with that being said, we're about to get into this reaction. So, probably, I would say, some of y'all know that KSI Sneeko, who recently just started blowing up, um, are currently beefing, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say it's real beef, you know what I'm saying? It ain't beef that went to the streets, you know what I'm saying? But it's beef that, you know, happened on the internet, I guess you could say so. And at, at one point, they were cool. They were on good terms. And then, you know, some falling out happened. And Sneeko made a video about KSI. KSI seen it, peeped it. And he said, you are lucky that I ain't got time for this, even though he tweeted um, and all that extra stuff. And pretty much the whole premise of this whole situation was Sneeko saying KSI doesn't stand for anything. Everything he does is for clout and attention and to get bigger and bigger as a creator um, and all that. So... Right now, what I'm going to do is react to that with Kai. You dig? Now, let's go. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sneakles message to KSI. Okay, okay. You're lucky that I ain't got time for this. Bro, tweet it, though. You got time? Oh, shit. Probably had a good time. Good amount of time to talk about some shit. No principles or character. Everything is about clout to these people. Exactly what I said earlier. Oh shit. So oh, shit. Keep being bullshit to your audience. Remember, I've been doing this way longer than you have. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. He tried to son him, bro. He just he just little boyed him. Sneeko, did you get little boy by KSI? Tragic. So KSI stands for I was for just trolling. Strength and KSI stands for what? Knowledge for integrity. KSI stands for knowledge and integrity. He has the word knowledge tattooed across his chest, chest and has arms. integrity tattooed on each of his arms. Oh shit. I was just I actually never knew what oh, KSI shit. stood for, but at least But as I, I can see, you're truly just a man with zero values. Oh. That's crazy. He's telling you that you got no values, nigga, no standards, nigga, no integrity, or none of that shit, boy. But I guess from KSI's perspective, he's saying you got no values, nigga, like. You really don't stand on the shit you speak on. You just speak out to stand out. Get how I use that? Um, I'm not saying that. I feel like that might... I'm not personally saying that. I feel like that's probably what KSI himself is thinking. I could be wrong, obviously. But um, from his perspective, and then Sneeko's looking at him like, bro, you're just a nigga that just does anything for clout and attention, bro. You have no moral ground. You don't stand on it. You don't stand on anything. You go with the, you go with the flow of things. And you try not to offend the people or the motherfuckers running the platforms. It's pretty much what I would say. Just to sum up what Sneeko said is pretty much what Sneeko said. Oh, shit. Fuck anyone over to be the main guy of the top of the ladder. Demon it to women, demon it to Islam, demon it to people that dare wait for your bubble. Your truth is a lie. You're a trend that's dying. Enjoy. Oh, my fucking God. Damn. Oh, sh God, stop saying the F word with God in the same sentence, bro. What is your problem? You claim you believe in God. You claim you a believer. But I see otherwise sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you don't need to say, oh, my effing God. You can say, oh, my God, or oh, my gosh, or just say, oh, my, or like, just say, fuck. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to cuss, bro, like, you don't need to put the F word with God. Like, Come on, bro. Have some respect, bro. Like, I know you're a grown man. You know, you're doing your thing and shit like that. But I'm just simply saying, if you have any respect for God as you say you do, please stop saying that, bro. Please. I ain't trying to get mad at you, my brother. I still got love for you, bro. But as a real nigga, I got to just tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just can't sit, I can't sit back and have you saying it constantly. Oh, my. You know, I can't even say it because I have respect for God. You know what I'm saying? I have fear for God. So I just don't feel comfortable saying that. And I would like you to also have that same fear in you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with fear in God. It just shows you have respect for the Lord. Is it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that you pussy. It just means that you don't wouldn't you wouldn't want to offend God. It's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God says do not use his name in vain. You're using it in vain, bro. Just saying. But anyway, keep going. Shit. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, show. Oh. You see, like, right there, what the fuck? You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just gave a perfect, you just gave a, another example as to what you could say. I'm just simply saying, I don't want to drag it on any longer. I know this video is not about you, Kai. I just took, you know, took my chance to, 
I just heard you say it. I'm like, this is a perfect opportunity to call you out on it. You know what I'm saying? Simply. You know what I mean? But respect to you, brother. Keep grinding. Keep doing your thing. You, you doing, you know what I'm saying? You elevating through life, for sure. Yo, oh, it's me. Dang. Oh. But yeah, that's crazy. What? How y'all feel about that before we uh, continue with what Kai's about to say? How do y'all feel about that? You know what I'm saying? This nigga Sneaker said, what is real will prosper. I'm gonna, he said, I'm going to shock the world. That's tough. <clears throat> That's tough. Though. How do you feel about that so far? You know what I'm saying? Sneaker case, I say, Sneaker got zero values. Fuck, it. Fuck anybody over to be the top man, which I have noticed that he did work for Mr. Beast at one point. Couldn't do that job because he wanted to be the top man. So that statement, low key, most likely is true. He probably just wants to be the top man. I won't say he would fuck everybody over to be the top man. He might fuck a few people over just to be the top man. Yes. A lot of people would. KSI, you would too, my guy. Don't act like you were all high and mighty about that. You probably would too, bro. Especially at the top tier level you are, you probably would fuck people over to get litter than you are. Even though you're really lit already. Like, like you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, yeah. What is real will prosper. Oh. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on, gang. Hold on. Wait, wait, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, sh oh, shit. Oh, shit. When you get backlash for this, remember to delete the tweets and say you were trolling. You didn't quote. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. He's pretty much saying anytime KSI gets called out from some shit, he says he's joking. Instead of just taking, like, Instead of taking accountability, you know what I'm saying? Which some people in the industry definitely do. Like, they'd rather say they're joking, it's a prank, da da da, instead of taking accountability. Instead of taking accountability for what they did and owning up to their actions and admitting that they were wrong um, and that they'll do better, et cetera, et cetera, which we are humans, and, you know, at the end of the day, but we do have our spirits inside of our human flesh. So we're not just humans, you know what I'm saying? If we work to unlock our spiritual side, we definitely will see. That we have a spirit inside of us, you know what I'm saying? Given to us by God. But that's a conversation for another time. I don't want to, you know, hit you guys with too much of that right now. Um, but with that being said, this is crazy. What is real or possible? Let's keep going. Because I know Kai has a lot to say. And I know you guys don't really care about what I have to say, really. You guys are here to watch Kai's reaction. But truthfully, not everything is for entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can be entertaining, but sometimes we need to be serious about some things, you know what I'm saying? For real. It's like, you know, not everything should be entertainment. Sometimes things should just be informational, motivational. You know what I'm saying? Help you think up here. This is currently too. This is real. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, shit. That's crazy. Oh. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga. This nigga. You about to say this about the wrong nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, You about to be instigating, he's not, 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 he's Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, I was like, what the hell happened? Ho okay, I'll let, I'll let Kyrie. Let's let Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? See how good his reading skills is. Hope you see this. Take stuff as a lesson, bro. It's fine to have views, but you you need to be careful once your influence gets so large. With great power comes great responsibility. Hold on, Uncle Ben. Hold on. He <laughs> said, hold on. Hold on, nigga. Hold on, hold on. His views on women were, were too dangerous and were gonna backfire eventually. He essentially wanted women to be controlled and act like servants. It's a shame because a lot of lost men saw him as a way to help improve themselves, etc. Anyway, don't want you to turn out like Tate. Tragic. Women can be want to be controlled and act like servants. Mainstream just can't. What the fuck? So my ladies in the chat, like, do you guys want to be controlled and shit? Okay, so this is so funny, bro, because before a certain time in history, women 
followed whatever the man told him to do. Now that women can think for their own, think on their own, have their own brain, you know what I'm saying, and live the life they want to live according to how they want to live in, not what they're told to live, they don't want to be controlled. Yes, that's facts. Because now they, now they taste that freedom of making their own actions, doing their own things without having anybody telling them what to do. You know what I'm saying? But, but if we have to be honest, women overall are naturally drawn to a strong man that does tell them what to do. Now, she may not listen all the time because women are very, very, very defiant and they like to disobey sometimes, just like little children. Not saying men don't either, but for example, men usually set the... So anyway, like I was saying, huh, shout out Mari, by the way. Um, anyway, like I was saying, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, usually men, we set the precedent. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, women usually follow. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, in a sense, they do like to be controlled, but not intentionally. They, in their own mind, want to allow you to control them consciously knowing that they're being controlled. But if you do it while she's in madly in love with you, she won't look at it as like she's being controlled. She'll look at it like you love her. She loves you. You're doing something. She's doing something for her loved one. She's doing something for her significant other. But you are using it in a you are using it as a form of control to show your superiority over her in the sense of you being a man. But in today's age, I wouldn't say women like to be controlled. No, women will fight the fact of being controlled. They don't like to be controlled. No one wants to be controlled. No one wants to have to submit. Like even nowadays, women don't even want to be submissive to their man. They want to argue, they want to fight, they want to throw hands with a nigga like they a nigga instead of sometimes just keeping their mouth closed and letting a man be a man. You know what I'm saying? Not saying a girl should be not saying a girl should be timid and not fight back at points. I'm not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying to allow the the generals to play their part. A woman is a woman, a man is a man. Don't, don't, don't mix them together. I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of masculine women that low key could be niggas. And I've seen a lot of feminine men that low key could be females. Some all of it, to sum all of it up, I personally don't think that women nowadays in this generation want to be controlled or looked at as servants. They want to be independent, free thinkers, independent women, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, making their own money on their own terms living their own life according to how they want to live it. You get what I'm saying? Do y'all like an aggressive nigga to tell you what to do? An assertive nigga. Huh? Huh? Do y'all like an aggressive nigga to tell y'all what to do? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hope I ain't blocking some. Okay. Could be blocking some shit. But when you get backlash for this, remember to delete the tweets and, saw and say you were trolling. You didn't quote tweet this time. This tweet was a troll. I copied the phrasing from a TikTok, word for word, I'm not even religious. Oh, he's not? Wait, Kansas is not religious? Personally, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a sign of him seeming like he was religious in any way, shape, or form. Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, let's be honest, guy. At some point, when you elevate, 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 you might have to start giving up some of your beliefs and morals and integrity too, brother. My brother. You know how this game goes. Don't act like you don't. You're in it. I'm not. And I know how this shit goes. You know what I'm saying? So you for sure know how it goes. You just obviously want to admit it. And it's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's fine, my brother. I love the fact that niggas want to act like this shit don't be happening in the game. You know what I'm saying? He's not? He's not? Wow. I did not know that. Wow. Oh, shit. You didn't quote retweet this time. This tweet was a troll. I copied it. Okay, oh shit. Okay, we're next. Is that it? I think that might be it. Oh shit. I think that might be Is that it? I think that was it. Oh shit. Whose side are you siding on? I'm neutral. <laughs> Whose side are y'all siding on? Because I see points from both perspectives. So I'm going to be neutral. Reason why is because KSI slightly does have a point as to what Nico is saying, as to as to how Sneeko behaves in certain matters. And then Sneeko has a clear point as to how KSI is as an individual. 
and that his name for what it stands for low key doesn't represent how he portrays himself sometimes. And that is true. I'm, not, I'm being honest, case. I, you could present yourself with more integrity, more strength, and more knowledge. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the stuff that you feed the world is content that's not really important. Like, really, you're feeding children content, not grown individuals that are around your age. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. But with that being said, though, uh, me personally, I'm not picking a side. I'm very neutral in the situation. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I'm lost. I'm kind of lost. I don't even know. Oh, my God. Snickle got, Snickle got eyebrows for brains. Jeez, I Oh, shit. Eyebrows for brain. That's that. That's that. Oh, shit. Fuck. KSI been heavily active, chat. This thing have been. Oh, shit. Yeah, his fight's coming up. Wow. Yes, be active. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Saints Row is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> he be watching that nigga's videos? Shit, I'll be seeing that nigga's videos pop him out recommended too. I think he just be popping up everywhere. Yo, I was gonna ask, should I watch Corey Kenshin's new video? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I only seen like parts of it. I ain't really watched the whole thing. So I could react to it on, you know. I could I could react to it for y'all. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. That nigga, that nigga Nick Breeze, that nigga Nick Breeze, not Nick Briz, Nick Breeze, because he, he's one with the wind. Remember, he's one with the wind. That nigga was running like he's a part of the wind. Um, that nigga really got, he really got ran off the block. Tight shit, tight shit, tight shit. But anyway, man, it's your boy Tenacious. I love you guys. I'm going to go get me some sleep. Um, And yeah, this nigga speed look crazy. I love you guys, man. I'm out. Should I react to KSI's? Um, weigh in because uh, apparently he has a fight coming up in like the next day or so or today is it i don't even know honestly i haven't been keeping up but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments since you boys next i know i sound mad exhausted that's because i am but you know i love you guys so much that i have to attend to y'all before i attend to myself <laughs> the life i live anyway man i love y'all i'm out I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay.